Shawmont Station has seen better days. The walls are cracked, the paint is shot, and the roof, it looks more like a garden. Trains last stopped here in the 1990s, but they first stopped here in the 1830s. Once owned by the Redding, it's SEPTA property now, and they're working with the community to save it from father time. Deterioration like on this uh, floor stringer. SEPTA's general manager showed us the dusty old waiting room and where a telegraph machine once sat. He's a huge history fan. So when he learned SEPTA owned America's oldest train station, he helped secure a special million dollar federal grant. I really thought that this is something that we shouldn't let go. Communities really rally around and, and take their identity for them from their train station. Even if it's out of service, it's still something that they, you know, it's part of their history. Every inch of Shawmont is a step back in time. Old shutters and doors. I don't know what that was. This was also home for the former station master and his family. Generations lived here for 104 years. They even left a few gifts behind in the basement. This is actually peaches from 1977, they're not doing too well. Neighbors always worried Shawmont would literally crumble to pieces. Now they're thrilled about its future. We're fiercely protective of all these assets that we have here. My wife used to meet me with our kids uh, and walk home from here. It was a really wonderful experience. It was like living in the 19th century. And it will be again. SEPTA says Shawmont will look like it did in its heyday when steam and coal trains ruled the rails. In Upper Roxboro, Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.